operating a spirulina farm from growing live algae culture to production to packaged products requires a wide variety of operations. Automating these tasks can both reduce labor costs and human error and raise productivity, quality control, and profitability. Here at Oasia Farms, here at the Central California coast, Dale Solomon operates a 500 square meter spirulina farm. He plans to expand farm size and production and keep labor costs down through automation. Dale has an engineering background and he'll show us how he automates equipment and procedures. We're here at Oasia Farms today talking about automation, technology, and all the amazing ways that we've managed to keep costs low so we can keep on providing this amazing superfood to the public. This is our proprietary sensor system. We've developed these custom printed circuit boards and this computer here to be able to tell the pH, dissolved oxygen, and culture density of our ponds. We also have a system to monitor temperature 24-7. And with all this data, we can really understand how our ponds are working and what they need to be able to grow efficiently. This is our employee workstation here where we have an iPad. It access to all of our quality data, production data, dates and times when each pond was harvested, one piece of equipment or went for maintenance. Everything that we need to know about our business is accessible right here to all of our employees and managers. Before the harvest spirulina, the farm used a flat micro screen directly over ponds. Now they're using an automatic rotating harvester inside. Our auto harvester has helped us a lot with ergonomics and safety. It's doing all the scraping and dewatering for us, and we're also able to focus on other things while the auto harvester does all the work for us. This is another really critical part of our auto harvester system. This is our pump controller that will speed up or slow down our pumps to get exactly the right number of gallons per minute for our auto harvester. And we can do that all remotely from inside of this work cell. We don't have to go up to the hot greenhouse. We can do it all right here. It's very efficient. pump CO2 back into the drop off that goes back into the pond. After our spirulina has been harvested, the water and nutrients drop down into this stainless steel reservoir. And when it gets full, a float switch will click on our pump, taking that water and nutrients and pressurizing it. And this is how we dissolve CO2 into our water. That carbon dioxide is food for the algae. So once the water's been carbonated, it goes back out to the pond and it's ready to be used again. So this is the biomass that comes out of the harvester. We ball it up and squeeze it just so we can uh, get it dry just a little bit better so we're able to form the burrito. Before, to squeeze more water out of the harvested biomass, they use a mechanical press outside. Now we give that about 45 minutes to, uh, to an hour. Now, a tabletop vacuum press inside. Here, after the spirulina has been harvested, I'm placing it into our vacuum press. We can remove all the excess water in the spirulina. It's all indoors, very sanitary. It's where we can process about 10 pounds per load. And we're gonna make burrito shape, and then we will put together all the mesh and the supporting materials, close it up, and apply the vacuum. The mesh helps to allow for flow of water, and so that stainless steel mesh is going to be on the bottom. Here, vacuum pressure slowly starts to build on our gauge, and that vacuum will be applied to the insides of this vacuum press. And we wait until about negative seven or 800 millibar. All of that water is flowing out of the spirulina. Down below is where all the magic happens. We have our vacuum pump right here, and this is our tank where we send all of that excess water. Once the vacuum press has sealed itself off, so we no longer have to hold it down, we just get to flip it over. As the water escapes and the spirulina shrinks, this bladder will continue to press downward and squeeze out all of the liquid. Removing the spirulina from the press after it's been vacuumed has a nice fresh green smell. Nice deep green color, very dry, perfect weighing it out inside of a vacuum seal bag. This will get shipped out to wholesale clients. It's gonna get sent over to our vacuum sealer. We remove all the oxygen and the air inside the bag. That helps to preserve the freshness of the products, increase the shelf life. Putting on our lot code and traceability. That way we know which day it was harvested and which pond it came from. 
We then roll out the bag, make it nice and even. And this is our finished product. A lot of our customers are all throughout the US. Our spirulina is a fresh product, so it needs to stay cold. And these insulated liners to make a fully insulated box. So we start with three ice packs on the bottom. We like to put a cardboard pad in between the ice packs and the spirulina. It protects the spirulina from the extremely cold ice pack. Now we're gonna load up our spirulina and then finishing off the spirulina sandwich with some more ice packs. We do also offer this eight ounce size product at oasiafarms.com, so we will ship it directly to your door. So this is our auto packaging machine. We put our fresh spirulina right up top here in the hopper. A pneumatic system draws in just the right amount of spirulina and then shoots it back out and injects it into one of these single serving pods. So the machine is taking a roll of plastic, forming a single pod, injecting the spirulina down into it, stamping the lot coat on it, and then we end up with this beautiful finished product. So this is our quality control system. A lot code stamper and it's going to be on every single bag that we're going to know what pond it came from and what day it was harvested. So this is frozen and it's a single serving pot that's ready to use and put in a smoothie right before the rest of the line. So we've made all of our spirulina pods and the only step left is to load them up into our branded box here and it comes with 60 pods inside shipped directly to your door on dry ice. In the back, it has some information about frozen spirulina, nutrition facts. You scan this QR code, there's recipes online, different ways that you can incorporate spirulina into your daily diet.